next for the heavyweight division in 2019 and will we ever see Joshua v. Fury? Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder's controversial draw on Saturday night in Los Angeles has thrown a spanner in the works of the heavyweight division. Business between Fury and Wilder is firmly unfinished, after an enthralling contest that saw the British challenger peel himself off the canvas in the final round. With a rematch now in the works, we go through where the heavyweight division will go from here, and if boxing fans will get to see the Gypsy King take on Anthony Joshua. Joshua is the biggest loser from fireworks in Los Angeles. The IBF, WBA, Super, and WBO champion was nowhere to be seen on Saturday night, rejecting the chance to be ringside for the heavyweight clash. Any hope of an April showdown with Wilder at Wembley is now seemingly gone, but it was always unlikely a deal would be done for that date even if the American had beaten Fury. Dillian White was, and remains. The favorite to fight Joshua in April, providing the 30 year old can be direct just all or later this month. Joshua will probably fight twice in 2019, and the second bout could be Ange's debut in America against the likes of Yarel Miller or Alexandra Zyk. 1. Tyson Fury 2. Deontay Wilder 3. Anthony Joshua Fury's performance against Wilder proves the Gypsy King is the best heavyweight in the division. But being denied the win and the WBC title puts the Brit in an awkward position. The best heavyweights in the world will shrink at the prospect of fighting Fury, and Frank Warren will have a task on his hands to convince Wilder to sign for the rematch. To view this video please enable JavaScript, and consider upgrading to a web browser that supports HTML5 video Wilder will want the second fight to be in America while Fury and CO will be concerned about a second robbery on U.S. soil. Fury's future is slightly unclear now, with a 2019 clash with Joshua extremely unlikely and the rematch with Wilder up in the air. Would Fury be interested in fighting the likes of White or Luis or Oz? With no title Fury cannot demand the big fights, and after schooling Wilder, the two reigning heavyweight champions will not be lining up to take him on. Wilder says he is happy to rematch Fury, but it remains to be seen if the American will be on board with the conditions on offer. Warren is hoping to force Wilder's hand by getting the WBC to order the rematch. In that case, Wilder would not want to risk being stripped of his title, and only a unification fight with Joshua would take precedent over a mandatory challenger. Wilder will feel he has the power to stop Joshua having twice figured out Fury over 12 rounds. Wilder's knockout ability is unique in the division and Team Bronze Bomber won't see Edge as capable of outboxing him like Fury did. Wilder's 2019 will be decided by how the rematch with Fury pans out. He could accept Eddie Hearn's offer of a two-fight deal with a view to fighting Joshua at the end of 2019. However, Team Wilder rubbished that offer before the Fury clash. It's the fight most of the British boxing fans want to see, but it seems even further away after Saturday night. Joshua will have been amazed with the rest of the boxing world to see Fury perform so well against Wilder, and there was never any real intention from Edge, or Hearn, to fight his domestic rival in 2019. 2020 could be the earliest option for Joshua Fury. But even then Matchroom's plans for Edge could be focused elsewhere. Hearn and Desn want Joshua to crack America and if Fury fails to negotiate a rematch with Wilder, Team Edge will work to put off any blockbuster with Fury for as long as possible. More, Anthony Joshua likes tweet insisting he will never fight Tyson Fury or Deontay Wilder.